Let's tie Rene Harrop's Henry's Fort Caddis. We begin with a TMCO 100 hook and Uni 17 aught in white. We'll lay down a base of thread and take it clear back into the almost where it starts to bend. Hook starts to bend. I have a olive goose biot. I'm going to tie in by the tip and the notch is facing to the rear so that it will not have that fuzzy edge on there. Note how I have the thread just into the thorax area, just a little bit past halfway. I'll grab my hackle pliers and begin wrapping the goose by it on. Now I'm overlapping to get away, get away from that fuzz, little fuzzy strip. I still get a little bit of it though. And bring it up into that thor that tie off point. I'm gonna tie off my goose biot. And trim it off, the excess off. And wrap down some of that excess that's showing. I have two CDC feathers. I'm only used half the two halves in a Pettigene clip. I've got those extra long scissors from Pettigene. And transfer it into another clip, magic clip. Got a little bit of excess stem, so I'm going to trim that off. transferring the fiber, CDC fibers into another clip so that I can use my stacker, Pettigene stacker. A nice little bundle of CDC fibers. I'm going to wet and moisten them a little bit, mainly because they don't, so they don't go all over the place. Makes it a little bit hand easier to handle and it the moisture evaporates fairly quickly. I'm going to tie it in the butts. And they're all on top of the shank of the hook. Now I'm going to take a partridge feather. You could also use hen hackle or an Indian hen neck. I just happen to have some partridge and we want the that brown feather that's got all that barring in there. Now I'm going to cut a little V in it, stripped away the uh, after, most of the aftershaft and see how I've got that V. And I'm going to tie it in and then adjust its length by pulling on the stem. Those, the length of the wing probably goes just out past the, the end of the hook. A little long there, so I'm going to change that length. That's better. Nail it down. Now I've just trimmed off that CDC. It'll puff out soon. Now I've got some grizzly hackle and I'm stripping out all oh, probably a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch of the barbs. And the reason I'm doing that is so that when I wrap my first wrap around that bundle is just the stem and not any, not any uh, barbs on it. And what that does is it lets it wrap without it twisting on me. Because what I want is the shiny side to face forward so that it's cupped. 
I'm gonna take a piece of peacock curl. It's gonna be my thorax. I'm going to wrap it till just before the eye. I'm going to leave some room for the head. Tie off my peacock curl. And trim off the excess. I'm going to take my hackle and wrap it forward. Now see how the cup side is to the back? And I left uh, quite a bit of space in between each wrap. More palm palmered through that peacock curl. I'm going to trim off my Excess peacock and whip finish. Now I could leave it just leave it alone, but I don't like that white thread showing. So I take some marker, trimming off the thread right now, the wrapping thread, and just color it up so it's not just so blatantly white. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut parallel to the fibers in the back. I don't like it so straight, but I'm just going to make an attempt to cut some of those fibers so it doesn't look so manufactured, so unnatural. <laughs> now I'm cutting a V. I'm going to match up the, the, the hackle to the tip, and then I'm going to cut down a little bit deeper so I get a wide V in the middle section of that hackle. And what that means is that every time I drop that fly, it drops right, it drops perfectly. Meaning with the barb down. And that's uh, my version of Renee Harrop's Henry's Fork Caddis.